Recycling may be useless. That's according to a New York Times science columnist. In 1996, John Turney wrote a controversial article called, called Recycling is Garbage. Now, 19 years later, he's reviewing the policies he trashed in a new opinion piece. Tierney writes, when it comes to the bottom line, both economically and environmentally, not much has changed at all. And John Tierney joins us now. John, thanks for being with us. This is so fascinating because most of us grew up with the notion that recycling is good, that it is helpful to the environment. You can actually help save the planet by doing this. But what you're saying is that that's not necessarily true. Explain. Um, well, there are some things that it makes sense to recycle, like you know, cardboard and aluminum. You save some energy. That is good for the planet. But most of the stuff in garbage is garbage. And it's really not worthwhile to do it. It's, it's not that good for the environment. It's also very expensive. Uh, you know, in New York City, when it started its recycling program, it was back in the era when people thought that we're running out of everything, we don't have any room in landfills, and they figured they were going to save a lot of money by recycling. Well, actually, it's cost the city probably, uh, well over a billion dollars to recycle, that we're paying basically for the privilege of sorting, all, of being <laughs> unpaid garbage sorters. <laughs> And the city could have, you know, I mean, it could have built dozens of schools. It could have given high school kids an iPad. Instead, we're spending all this money to kind of just basically, you know, push garbage around. But the argument is it's not just about the money. It's about, you know, our future, our environment. And what if we fill up all these landfills because we're such horrible consumers? Right. I mean, is there a threat that we could fill up the landfills? No. I, I mean, that was a big scare that really kicked it off, that there was this garbage barge going around and they couldn't do it. And that was because what happened in the 80s was that they passed these, these good laws that, made, uh, that were very strict for landfills. And so the old town dumps had to close. But what happened was they built these big new landfills with liners, they monitor them, they're very, you know, they're very safe. And these, and these rural communities that have them like them because they're, they're just a huge source of tax revenue. I went to one down in Virginia. They have beautiful schools, much better than we have in New York. The landfill pays more property taxes than the rest of the county combined. So it's a real, and, and it's kind of tucked back in the woods. You don't even know it's there. Mm. I yeah, you know, I just want to ask you, though, really quickly, because some people are going to be watching this, right. and they aren't going to have their <laughs> minds blown, frankly, because, right. for instance, things like plastic. What is your understanding of recycling plastic? Because I know folks, myself included, yeah. who are very mindful uh, of the fact that plastics oftentimes can end up in the ocean, and it hurts marine life, and we've all heard about the garbage patches that circulate right. in the oceans and how devastating that has, uh, that has been for marine life. What exactly is the worth, in your view, of recycling plastics? Well, uh, the stuff in the ocean, you know, uh, there's a great article in Reason magazine called Plastic Bags Are Good For You that debunks a lot of the stuff about the garbage. That's a whole separate issue. But, um, you know, recycling aluminum cans, when you do that, you save a lot of energy. And that means that there's less greenhouse gases, which is a good thing. But plastics doesn't make really that much difference. It doesn't save that much. And um, if you wanted to offset the carbon emissions uh, responsible, uh, that you're responsible for when you fly to Europe and back, you would have to recycle 40,000 plastic bottles. You know, and, and the savings from each one is so tiny that if you rinse that bottle in hot water before you put it in the recycling bin, you would cancel out the energy savings and the net effect would be putting more carbon in the atmosphere. So then so, one more question, what do we do? If it's not recycling, then what do we do? Well, the simplest thing is really just to put stuff in landfills or in these modern incinerators that create you know, green energy. They're very clean. They're very popular in Europe and Japan. We, we just have a thing against it in, um, in the U.S. I mean, recycling paper and cardboard and metals makes sense. I mean, it's, you know, they, it's fairly cost effective and it, does, and it does reduce greenhouse gases. Most of the other stuff, like the food waste and all this, it's really just, it's very expensive to do. It doesn't really do much for the environment. And of course, it's all the, I mean, all that time we spend sorting garbage. It, it bothers me to see kids, you know, spending so much time in school learning about garbage. There's so much more important <laughs> things they could study. You first sounded this, though, in 1996, and here we are in 2015. You think it'll be harder for people to receive your message today compared to in 1996? Well, it's become a religion, you know, and, and people just think of it as that they're doing something good. And, and, and the real reason I think it, that it happens is people feel guilty that I, that I buy so much stuff, I take these trips. I have, a, I have a country home that uses all this energy. So if I recycle, it's, I'm kind of I'm performing this indulgence that the Catholic Church used to do. <laughs> but it's not, and so, you can, so maybe it's good for your mental health, but, but it's not really doing a lot for the planet, and it's costing a lot of money.
So. Fascinating yeah, to hear is. your perspective. John Tierney, thank, <laughs> thank you so you. much for thank joining you. us.